so this is actually signifying culture now what if if i'll ask you that how you people have to read this particular point hello friends my name is dr uma hasan and i am beginning series of lectures on social cultural anthropology now it is highly significant for upsc aspirants to segregate their anthropology slippers so let me just explain you this important point so we know guys that anthropology is broadly divided into two parts okay one is your physical anthropology and other one is your social cultural anthropology okay now in physical anthropology it is about human evolution and it is also about humans definitely diversity in terms of physical characteristics it is also about genetics and there are lot many other topics in physical anthropology but we are talking about social cultural anthropology right and social anthropology is i would say it start from 2.1 which is the topic which we are going to discuss today and then in paper 1 it goes till anthropological theories and then in paper 2 from topic second that is on indian population that is demographic profile of indian population and till n that is a part of tribal anthropology would come under social cultural anthropology it signifies that social cultural anthropology is important for all of us because it has it has lot of topics which is there in your upsc syllabus so definitely we need to focus more on social cultural anthropology and another important point here is that to understand social cultural anthropology aspirants must have critical outlook now let's discuss this topic okay so what is your syllabus here so your syllabus is broadly the nature of culture okay this is what you people have to understand the nature of culture so you people have to understand this important point that you need to question about culture okay and try to have very engaging approach with respect to social cultural part now i want to i want you to give some some time of yours and understand and see this picture which you can see right now if you focus here you will find something what is that okay so let me help you with this what you can see if you are noticing this particular boy okay so you can see that he has got some black marks you know he has got colored hair and now let's move to another picture you can see a woman wearing lot of ornaments okay now if you see this particular picture what are you what are you getting old 
person i would see okay wearing a head cap it must representing his religious beliefs here also we can see this here also here also with this picture with this picture with this picture here again we can see this so this picture is giving us a very important insights and what's that that on earth we have different people they do not only look different which is a part of your physical anthropology so in so there is a topic race and racism where we discuss this particular point okay so how we are different we are different not only physically we are different from culture so this is actually signifying culture now what if if i'll ask you that how you people have to read this particular point for your upsc mains often aspirants make this huge mistake they think that okay we need to understand what is nature what is culture civilization society and we are just fine with it because it's a really easy topic we are already know this but guys you people are preparing for upsc exam you need to have unique outlook i'm 110% sure that there will be lot many instructors you know around us and specifically on youtube who would be teaching you uh, you know about culture society in a very lucid manner and you would be very attracted to but remember that you are going to be evaluated on the kind of content which you have provided in fact with my class also with this lecture also you may think that okay my explanation for culture is good you might understand the concept but how you need to write in an in 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 anthropological perspective that is crucial okay so you need to understand this particular point very seriously okay now if i'll show you another image and if i tell you please see culture in this particular area you know in this in this picture in this area which you can see understand culture so what is culture can you see here probably you would say ma'am this is a picture of poverty you know it is we can see that you know there is a slum settlement you know and uh, there is you know people do not have proper you know sanitation so it's it's unhygienic it has lot of issues you would say that you know we can't see poverty here you know because you can see poor people around they don't have food nothing we can see here isn't it but if it if it is that the case then oscar lewis okay Oscar Lewis he is renowned anthropologist who have done a very beautiful work on indian culture and society as well he wrote a book that is culture of poverty that means poverty also has culture now you must be understanding that then what is culture we have lot many definitions of it common uh, definition it's a way of life is it so just imagine that upsc aspirants are writing on uh, you know on short notes on culture and they are saying culture is a way of life and somebody else would be quoting oscar lewis work as oscar lewis in his book define you know in his book culture of poverty has defined that culture is is a belief which passes on from generations to generations and in that in that context even poverty is a culture poverty also also has culture why because it is 
passing from generations to generations it is it is a chronic problem and it is creating a culture okay so this is how we have to prepare ourselves from picnic okay now let's see this here you can see a teacher who is teaching in a very engaging manner to students here you can see a kind of patriarchy a male who is earning and giving money it also has culture so all this picture is signifying culture okay now i would say always have your goal clear it is highly highly crucial for all of us to be on our specific goal our goal is clear we need to clear this exam okay and this is what we are doing we are doing everything for upsc mains optional and our target is to achieve 350 plus now if upsc is going to ask a question on above you know on this topic i am going to produce a very important points it has to be unique in nature if i am going to define culture in in a bookish manner in a content which you, which is available and every second person is reading and writing from there what you are going to uh, write in unique manner it's it's then questionable always remember this that upsc do not want academicians they want somebody who are critical in nature critical in nature reading the same content from same source you just assume but you are writing in a different manner that is what i think a critical mind would reflect okay now i i am sure that if we all of us have some fair idea of culture i am going to explain later on that what is culture how you have to articulate you know your answers but right now you need to see that you are writing for anthropology if i would have been like you know uh, if i would have been teaching this particular topic which is there in sociology i would have you know uh, taught in sociological perspective now in anthropology what is important case studies okay now case studies so i'll i'll explain all of you what is culture by very important case study okay that is kula ring now upsc several times several times have asked question on this particular topic kula ring many of you have who have given their mains or who who knows about upsc pyqs of anthropology they must be seen, they must be knowing that how important this topic is now i am going to correlate kula ring ceremony to explain culture this is this is ultimate this is something you know ultimately you people have to understand you need to implement this strategy it is really important for us to have proper strategy significant so malinowski you know we know that he is again important renowned anthropologist in fact he is someone who have made systematic study you know on fields field study the way he had conducted and gathered data it's it's remarkable malinowski have shown that how we can have participant observation and again this particular topic is a part of your research methods in anthropology paper 1 okay topic 8 so this is the kind of interconnection you people have to make trust me on this i have seen lot many aspirants okay in my class so when i start my orientation
meditation classes like you know in one or two or three days aspirants are very confused that what ma'am is doing because i do not teach them straight away the syllabus it is very easy for it is very convenient for a teacher to start their syllabus with topic 1 topic 2 and understand but it is so difficult to break that traditional rigid mindset of uh, upsc aspirants in particular so they are already dealing with lot many stress what kind of stress you people are dealing with why you people have to be stressed you people have taken a very good decision to become to become an is officer certainly it's going to change your life for sure right so you people have to understand that your preparation has to be different from others try to have clarity on concepts try to have critical outlook for instance understanding culture the way i am explaining today in a unique manner and to be unique i am not giving any you know complex terms to you it is again very much syllabus part of your syllabus kulare ceremony okay now let's understand what is kulare ceremony okay so i would say so this is a necklace i would say please see to it and this is a you can say arm band okay it's a gift giving exchange you know reciprocity that is something you people have to understand in a kula ring ceremony you can see these two ornaments now again question yourself that what is this and what is this and try to have contemporary relevance with respect to your culture of these two ornaments if you will see carefully it is made up of shells okay so if somebody would ask you know in i'm living in delhi and if some some you know if anyone is going to sell me these two ornaments i i i think i will not even buy it or even if some woman wants to buy it they will not give 1000 or 2000 rupees for it okay because it has no relevance for me so that's mean culture has meaning i would just explain this you need to focus on this term meaning so it has symbols on the contrary pacific islanders trobriand islanders okay you would see it has a deep symbolic meaning in fact their their entire life revolves around this kula ring ceremony okay so what is kula ring ceremony again so it's a it's a exchange carries deep symbolic meaning and is deeply rooted in the tradition and believes so culture is what culture is about tradition and beliefs which is meaningful for the person who are living in that area that geographical area and it is meaningful for melanesian and polynesian tribes it is a cultural interaction so it is not a metal which is very costly for us okay even for them also it is not about money but it is all about rituals so pacific islanders you know exchange this so it is an integrated system of ceremonial gift giving and what happened here why we why we have such exchange because they want to foster strong social cultural ties between you know each other okay so what actually happened here let's just see quickly on this
okay so you would see here that this 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 islanders exchange let's just say we can take you know here we can take this and we can take this two islands okay and they will be a cooler exchange okay now let's just say we have two groups a and b now if it is exchanging necklace now b was having necklace and now they have exchange to this particular group now they have become cooler ring partners now they are going to trade with each other okay so they are going to have trade with each other they are going to have lot many other exchanges they are going to share food they are going to have cultural ties okay harmony they are going to exchange rights so marriage would also take place and if there is a attack on one particular group then it means that there will be a attack on another group so it is like developing your cordial lateral very you know peaceful relation with other countries like which we do okay so bilateral relations and it is happening in some tribes okay so necklace is just not a you know some ornament it is representing that okay now b has given necklace to it to a group and now they've become a partners so they have to maintain integrity with each other so they are living in harmony with each other okay so this is what we understand okay here so in a cooler exchange it is about ritual significance it represents a sacred ritual tradition among both melanesian and polynesian tribes okay it is very much embedded in cultural fabric of the tribes signifying social status alliances and respect and this is going to pass down through generations okay so it is just not an exchange it is about cultural exchange okay so this is how we can bring a case study to explain culture and then we can say that how culture is diverse it is different and then we can give those you know uh, different definitions on it so this is how one should start so it is it is an interesting starting right so it is very important to write unique content right after after writing and explaining through cooler in ceremony then you should talk about some other accurate work anthropologist work so when we when we are talking about culture we can also talk about some book like primitive culture okay so we know that edward burnett taylor have explained about culture so after giving us own explanation on culture that it is a belief you know it's a tradition it's a way of life that passes from generation to generations it is going to give us a very important beginning now afterwards we can bring that okay in a book called primitive culture by edward burnett taylor he has explained culture as what so it's a concept definitely and he has explained is that it's a system of human behavior thought obey natural laws and therefore can be studied scientifically so it is more about behavior and thought okay so this is how we need to understand and then we can quote the way he has defined culture culture is that complex whole which includes knowledge belief 
arts, morals, law, custom, and the other capabilities and habits acquired by men as a member of a society. Now here again there is a very important catch. You should be extremely clear with the concept called what is culture, what is civilization and what is society. Often people use this term you know as, as a common one term. Definitely they are interrelated but they are not the common terms. Okay, so that is what we have to understand. Okay. Now, after understanding this one thinker, you can quote other thinker. Again, Edward Bernard Taylor is very important anthropologist. You are going to read it. I am not bringing anything uh, different uh, for you. It is very much part of your syllabus when you are going to read about religion. So, you need to be actually smart when you are preparing. You need to be smart. Okay, that okay, I have to do lot of interconnections. Then you need to understand another part that is another thinker, Clifford Geats. Now, how Clifford Geats have explained culture? Okay, so for, Clif for Clifford Geats, what it is? It is about symbols. And he, he has given that we need to explain culture by using thick description. Now, UPSC have asked question on thick description of Clifford Geats. Also, UPSC did ask question on primitive culture by Taylor and Malinowski. So, you need to, you need to show that you have read content and you have this ability to put those content into words in your exam. If you are going to give very basic information about culture, I am afraid, right? I am actually afraid that you might get good marks in it, okay? So this is how we need to learn about correlations, okay? So for Clifford Gates, culture is about symbols, okay? Then, then after writing all this point, we can like, you know, give basic information in flow charts. Culture is learned, okay, culture has, culture is learned, culture is symbolic, okay, it is all symbolic. So, the kind of clothes we wear, it is about, it is about culture. The language we speak, it is about culture. The food we eat, it is about culture, okay. So, this is very basic information. Then, definitely culture is shared. So, culture is transmitted in society. Okay, where we learn culture by observing, listening and all this point and it passes from generation to generation and this process is known as enculturation. Okay, enculturation, it is there. So, enculturation is the process by which a child learn his or her cultures on their own. Even nobody is teaching it. Now here again UPSC did ask question, you know, enculturation and socialization. So in my coming lecture, I can explain the difference between enculturation and socialization. Okay, so I like to conclude by today's lecture. You know, the very first topic of social cultural anthropology that is 2.1. First of all, we need to know what is culture, okay? So, culture is a definitely way of life, but we are not going to write this common definition. Culture is a set of values, beliefs, rituals. Culture has broader, broader aspects. We have material culture, which we can see. We have non-material cultures. Imal Darkhaim have explained it as social facts. Emil Durkheim is another important sociologist and anthropologist for us. So you need to make that advanced level of comparison and you know articulations in your answer. And to understand this kind of you know uh, you know lectures, you need to be critical. And trust me, only those aspirants 
actually you know balance their approach who are very strong minded who do not follow what others are following actually you need to have unique approach to have unique approach you need to think creatively okay so i as i have said that there are lot many aspirants they get puzzled that what what how do we have to write how do we have to study but ultimately you need to learn this that that just gaining the knowledge is not important so i teach from a very complex point first of all i make you believe that you people have enough of information on your own all you have to start process thinking after thinking you need to start writing that is something crucial okay otherwise you do not even have to pay anything right to prepare for upsc i would say right seriously if you are you know if you if you think that okay i can uh, have a self study it is a good approach definitely you can learn uh, you can learn and read about various sources that is that is that is another story but how to put into words that only comes with lot of practices okay so you need to practice a lot you need to think creatively for that i hope you people like my lecture thank you